hello friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i preserve my tomatoes i have excess tomatoes and in our family we only use one tomato per cook or per serving or per meal because we have very most of us have very sensitive stomachs the acid in tomatoes guys we can't stand you can see they are all very well ripe so what i'm going to do i've already washed them but i'll give them another rinse and then uh, these are the containers i'm going to use to preserve my tomatoes in my freezer uh, i'm rinsing the tomatoes <coughs> And since I only use one every time I cook, I'm going to preserve it s them separately, one in each container. So then I'm going to peel all the tomatoes, dice them. And put them in these my small containers cover them all of them close very tightly and then I'm going to keep them in my freezer the longest time I've had uh, such uh, uh, tomatoes I stayed with them for close to two months so I actually don't know the maximum number of days they can stay but even after two months they were really fresh and okay so as you can see i'm pulling i'm peeling them i don't like cooking tomatoes with their skin on and i also think the the skin increases the acidity in them but this is optional guys if you have no problem with it you can actually cook it the way it is now i've already peeled my tomatoes i've diced one of them this is how i cover tightly and keep it in the freezer see how i diced my peeled tomato I remove the hard core then dice it in small cubes how you dice your tomatoes is optional this is how I'm used to doing it because I like them very small. I don't like seeing pieces of tomatoes in my food when I eat. So this way I find that uh, they cook so well. And these tomatoes are quite huge. this is only one method next time i'm going to show you the other method where i cook the tomatoes down and I make like a tomato paste then i keep it in containers So I'm done. These are my diced, peeled and diced tomatoes. So now I'm covering them tightly and then I'm going to keep them in my freezer. So every time I cook, I'll remove one container, keep it in the sink to thaw, then I use it to cook. Thank you so much for watching. 